Right, hello again guys, this is LNDR Tom here from LFGC and today I've got another unboxing for you for something that I've been waiting to try and get my hands on for a while. This is the 5-in-1 magnetic fast wireless charger. Now I did see this originally on TikTok on one of the adverts that popped up in between the videos. Um, due to it being on TikTok and then following the link uh, going to an unknown website, I was a bit sceptical of actually... Um, ordering it through there so i thought i'd try and find one elsewhere um a friend of mine said if i had a look on amazon i did i couldn't find one on amazon um but then randomly last night i come across this one which is identical um it's got everything um i'm pretty sure it's the same company uh but yeah it's a five in one magnetic fast wireless charger like i said i've wanted one for a while uh, for my bedside cabinet um the good thing with this one is that it's actually got an LED light that's on the back on this strip here, uh, which sort of acts like a night light. Um, so when I come in from work late at night and the missus is already in bed, instead of turning on any big lights, I can go and tap that and get the light on so I can see what I'm doing before I get into bed. So that's perfect for what I wanted it for. Uh, you can charge your iPhone on it. Um, I'm assuming that if your phone is also compatible with MagSafe um, charging, then it magnetizes to that. I'm not sure with other brands like Samsung and Sony and that, if they have that sort of thing, so I'm an iPhone man. But yeah, I've got an iPhone 12 Pro Max, so that will go on there, fast charging. This is for your Apple Watch, so I've got one of them, so that's all good. And then down here, there is a section where you can charge your AirPods as well. I haven't actually got AirPods myself. I have thought about getting them in the uh, in the future. I have got some uh, Beats wireless ones that I use at the moment. They don't charge via wireless charge and they're only charged via cable. So they won't work for me on that. Um, and then here, you'll see there's a little, little button there and that is for the light to come on. Now there's four stages to the light, I believe, from what I've read, but what we'll do is we'll get it unboxed and we'll check it out and we'll go from there. Right, before we actually open this, um, I don't know if any of you have actually watched my video on the Anchor 622 power bank that I bought. Um, that was Mag, uh, Mag and Go um, compatible. Now, when I bought that, it should have in theory worked with my case. That's my understanding of it. Didn't work with my case, did work when the phone wasn't in a case. I have a feeling that this is gonna be the same. Um, and because of that, I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm just gonna order it anyway. I'm gonna try a different attachment that I've been told that allows a case to become um, magnetic. So I'm gonna try that out because I'm 100% I'm sure this isn't gonna work with this. Um, so let's get the box open and take a proper look. So if I flip the box around so you can actually see uh, a lot of it's in foreign language, but the bit that's in English says supports MagSafe compatible devices, Apple AirPods, uh, AirPod Pros and Apple Watch series, as well as Android smartphones with QI wireless charging function is equipped with a touch three level adjustable LED nightlight suitable for home and office use. So yeah, if you do have, if it focuses, if you do have an Android smartphone with QI wireless charging, this will work with that as well. I wasn't 100% sure of it, but as we've just flipped the box around, we can find out that it is. So on the back, it shows you how you can charge it. You can have it landscape or portrait, which is good. If you're obviously watching something um, on your phone and you wanna flip it around, you can actually charge it while, it's, uh, while you're watching something. So you can charge multiple devices via it, which we already knew. It's got an LED nightlight on it. It's touch control, which is the, the nightlight button. It isn't actually a button, it's just touch sensitive. It's got a magnetic attachment, which we knew. It's 15 watt peak wireless output. It's compatible with MagSafe cases, which I can now tell you guys that my case is apparently not a MagSafe case, even though it allows wireless charging. So I'm gonna have to change over my case or get the little attachment which I have been told will make it MagSafe. And then you can watch it in portrait and landscape mode, which is what I've already touched on. There's the uh, details on the side, five in one magnetic fast 
wireless charger. It's made of plastic and zinc, but no one really cares about that. USB-C, and then all the other technical jargon, which if you want, you can pause and have a look at. So I have opened the box, let's put that aside, get the bits from inside the box. So we have the user manual, which no one reads. We have one plug. We have the USB cable, USB with C attachment. So I'll go in here, this is a QC 3.0 plug. And then the actual dock here, we just get it out. Is there now you can get this in white you can get this in obviously black like me um, in white obviously it looks like that and in black it looks like that so I think they're the only two colors because on the actual side of the box it does say white and black I've not seen any other colors um, obviously if you think that yours would look better in white where you have it in your whatever room you choose then choose the white, but I think the black makes it look a bit more stylish. So I thought I'd get it in black. It suits the bedroom a lot better um, in black than in white, in my opinion. So we've got the charging area for the iPhone. We've got the charging area for the watch. And then there, as you can see, it's got like an indentation for the AirPods to go in. Now I don't have AirPods, so I can't show you that working, but I have tried the Mrs. phone on it. Um, and it does charge a phone laying down, although I do believe it charges at a much lesser wattage. Um, so if you're looking for fast charging, that's not gonna be your fast charge point. That's gonna be the one that you'll wanna use. Um, but her phone was charging on that section. You did have to line it up perfect, uh, but her phone isn't a MagSafe, so it wouldn't attach to this. Um, but yeah, you can charge a mobile on it, but it would probably be very slow. It's ideal for AirPods, but not for a mobile phone. So let me just plug this all in and I'll show you it working. So now I have it plugged in. I've got it up uh, my gym at the moment. It's not where it's actually going to sit, but I've got it plugged in. So you get the little red light when it's turned on. Um, I believe that that light goes green when you're device is fully charged. Don't quote me on that, that's what I've read um, from some comments on the product. Um, I've not had a chance to fully charge a device in it yet. Um, it's literally just come in the post uh, today from Amazon. So I thought I would just do the video as quickly as possible to get it out for you guys and then go from there. Um, I can obviously let you know in the comments uh, later on once I have fully charged the device to tell you if it does go green but from my understanding that does go green so that's the front of the product if you turn it round you'll see the back has that white strip now just to show you that's the light so you tap and as you can see it does get quite bright there is only two three 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 different settings so you can have it dim you can have it sort of medium and then you can have it ultra bright um, so yeah, basically I wanted it so that I've got a little night light, night light that I can put on when I get home from work, just while I'm pottering around in the bedroom, trying not to disturb the missus. So it's as simple as just touching that. There's the little tap icon. Like I say, it's not an actual button. It's just sensitive to touch. Um, what I'll do in a moment is I will shut the blinds in my gym and get it as dark as possible and show you how bright it is. It does feel really bright. Um, maybe it's a bit hard on camera to sort of pick up, but it does feel really bright. So I think it would be suitable for when uh, it's obviously in darkness in a bedroom. Um, I think it would be quite a nifty little night, night light to have. So let's get some of the um, things on there so I'll stop filming on my iPhone and I will get the missus phone to do this next bit and I'll show you my phone on there and my watch so now I've switched devices I can show you my phone working on it as well as my watch so here's my watch put that on there that shows that it's charging which is all good now my phone 
wonderful picture of De Gea's recent save. Sorry for anyone that's not a Man United fan. I am a Man United fan, unfortunately. As you can see by my big flag in the gym. But yeah, as you can see, both devices are charging at the same time. So you've got the charging on the phone and on the watch. Um, you can obviously spin it round and have it landscape or you can have it portrait. So if I was to want to put a film on, then yeah, I can, I can put a film on. It's set quite a nice angle that you could potentially put something on on the desk and watch it. Um, I actually really like this product to the point where I'm actually tempted to get one for my computer desk as well. Um, they're not actually that expensive. I did buy it on a slight offer. They had a, I think it was 8% off, so it's not a massive discount. But I think it, I think it made it about £32 or something, £35 or something. But I will leave a link in the description anyway. Uh, so that you guys can actually find it easily on Amazon. But yeah, um, there you go. So when when it's actually got a phone on and then you light it up, see it's not, it's, it's just a subtle light in the back. Um, but let me get my blind shut and I'll show you the brightness of it now. Right, so as you can see, it's quite a bit darker in the gym now. Uh, light out still so we're not in complete darkness but now that we've got a darker area i'll tap the light on and show you the different levels of light so that's the that's the first one that's quite a dim light but it's nice a nice light just to put on in total darkness just to see sort of your surrounding area slightly then you've got the medium light that gives you quite a bit of extra light and then this last one is the brighter setting now as you can see that's quite quite a bit of light that's coming out of it now you consider that we're not in complete darkness and obviously if you just need a little bit of light to be able to see where you're going i think that's perfect it's not a lamp it's not meant to be a lamp but as you can see it's quite a bright led light on there um that comes off so obviously if i remove my phone you can it doesn't really make a difference but yeah as you can see that that is that is the light on the brightest setting um now for me that's enough if you want a lamp then yeah it's not going to be enough if you want a proper lamp to light up the room um but for what i need it for just as a night light in the evening if i need to quickly turn a light on rather than a lamp i haven't got a lamp my side because i didn't have the need for one so now i've got the blinds back up you can see that obviously it doesn't really make much difference during the day as no light does during daylight but yeah as you can see um i quite like this product i'll take my watch off for a moment and just show you that if you do put a wireless phone in the right place if i can get it in the right place you can see it is charging so it does it does work um it does work for the missus phone just laying on there, but you do have to line it up with that section. Let me turn that light off. Yeah, so my honest view on this at the moment is that I really want to buy another one uh, for my desk. So I've got one upstairs and downstairs. Be a bit over the top to have two, but because I don't think they're that badly priced and it does everything that I want it to do, um, I would be really tempted to get another one for my desk. I'll have a play round of it in the next few days, make sure that it actually does do what it says and charge devices properly and have no issues. And as long as they do, I think I'll be buying another one. Um, if you've got, like I say, if you've got a, an iWatch, you've got AirPods and you've got a phone that is compatible uh, by Mag & Go iPhone 12 and 13, um, to stick on there with a case that's suitable or take your case off like I've had to because my case doesn't work. Um, it's a no-brainer for me to have something that charges everything and the addition to having a, a, a light on it um, for me is the selling point. So I will leave you there. Um, this is the, get the box, the 5-in-1 magnetic fast wireless charger.
from a company that I cannot remember the name of, but I will find it for you and put it in the description. But there is loads of different companies on TikTok that were selling that and they were all named different. So I'm assuming it's just that is the patent for it and companies just put their logo on it. Uh, there is absolutely no branding whatsoever on this box to say what the company name is um, all round. Yeah, so I will put a link in the description anyway for it on Amazon for you to find if you want to buy one. And let me know in the comments if you get one, what you think of it. And if this video has been helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. We are trying to get to our first 100 subscribers and we'd love it if you were one of the first 100. And then who knows if this channel does blow up a bit, um, then happy days. But if not, we will get as many videos to our subscribers as possible. And we would really appreciate the like and subscribe if you haven't already. So have a lovely day and we will speak, speak to you and see you soon. Cheers.